Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, my name is Ashley. And if you're a returning subscriber, hey, what's up? So in this video, I will be showing you guys my perfume collection. Yes, I know everyone likes to look and smell and feel good. If you're interested in this type of video, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and let's get right into this video. So first things first, I would like to let you know that I have partnered up with Dossier. I'm bringing you guys like the best high luxury scent so dossier reproduces classic high-end luxury scents for literally a fraction of the price and when i mean fraction of the price you're, you're gonna be like girl what do you mean like a hundred dollars 50 no 39.99 and y'all know i don't play when it comes to luxury affordable perfume so, so dossier does have a risk-free system that would allow customers to try perfumes without committed to them which is really really good because i know it's very difficult to purchase scents offline and going based off someone else's review everyone's scent is different for example i like floral scents and vanilla based scents more so i'm not really like a must type of girl i'm more like a sweet type of girl because i am a very stern woman so i prefer sweet scents if you decide to return a scent dossier does offer a standard 30-day return period in which customers can return any unsealed perfume and get a full refund tell me that ain't good that's perfect so let's talk about the price of this perfume dossier does cost 39 which is so so good because you're gonna smell luxury all year round they do provide great bulk deals for up to three cents which will give you like a 25 percent discount and a free shipping why not get more than one cent that's gonna total up to a tom ford price okay they are adding new scents to their collections so you know go on their website and check them out now let's get right into the scents that they sent me this is what the box looks like uh, which is so good it's minimal it just says dossier on the box um the scent that i got is amber souffron and when you open the box this is what it looks like um it says iconic scents design quality no markup and then it comes with this card where it gives you all the note for what it smells like and everything so i'm gonna read the amber saffron it the top notes are saffron orange and blossom which is like a nice little subtle orange smell i love citrus i love like a fruity fruity smell uh, the middle notes is jasmine plum and cedarwood which is really good who doesn't love plum um uh, base notes is oak moss, fir blossom, and amber. This scent was inspired by Baccarat. You know, the scent that everyone's buying and saying, oh my God, this smells like Rihanna. And I was like, you know what? I Yeah, I don't have the money right now to purchase Baccarat. Baccarat is literally 300 something dollars. And that's just a lot. Dossier does have inspired scents by Baccarat. And it smells so, so good. So this is what it looks like. This is a 1.7 fluid ounce perfume and the top magnet how cool is that the top is magnet so this is what it looks like oh uh, it smells so good it smells so good this smells like the if you have ariana grande cloud perfume this is what this smells like it has like a sweet subtle smell it's not too strong this is like a day scent going to brunch with your girls it smells so so good so i do recommend this and the size and quality of this perfume smells so good i did wear it over the weekend and i'm telling you guys it lasts so let's get right into the other one the other perfume that i got from dossier it was the gourmet white flowers so this scent is inspired by victor and rolf if you know victor and rolf like i love victor and rolf like i wish i still had the perfume that i had before but it smells so good it's a inspired scent of the flower bomb it literally smells exactly like the perfume like you would never know like the difference the notes on this is bergamot green tea freesia and berries there goes the sweet scent and then the middle note is white flowers orchid and rose which we know i'm a rose kind of girl and then the last note base notes are musk patchouli caramel and vanilla and i love a vanilla scent so good it smells so good it just smells so nice and feminine and soft and you know we're living soft lives it smells so good 
what I advise you guys to do is head over to Dossier and purchase a couple of their perfumes. And they have included a discount code for you guys. It's Ashley10. So Dossier does have a new payment method that lets you earn store credit. So what you have to do is select catch at your last step in checkout and you will earn $10 in bonus credit, which is good. We love a little free money. It allows you to receive 10% on each purchase that you will make on the website. So I advise you to go on there and get as much scent as you can because you know we love smelling good over here, okay? I want you guys to feel and smell like how I'm feeling and Dacia is providing that. Don't forget to head over to Dacia. I will leave my link down in the description box so you can get 10% off. We need everyone to smell good in 2022. Yeah, and let's get right into the rest of these scents. So, because I like sweet scents, I'm gonna start with my sweet scents first. My first fave is this perfume from Floor Street that I purchased from Sephora. <sighs> Y'all, this smells so good to me. I don't know, like everyone else, they like musky scents and I'm just not that girl and I keep saying that. This is a sweet scent. It's wild vanilla orchid and what I mean sweet, it's like we at the barbecue and they put too much sugar in the Kool-Aid, sweet. This is a sweet, sweet scent, and I love smelling sweet like this. So according to Sephora, this is a woodsy and warm scent. Literally, it smells like sweet vanilla milkshake to me. <laughs> it literally smells like this a sweet forest. Like, I don't know how to explain it. It's so nice. It's, it says it's an earthy and woody scent. It's in warm woods. Um, the keynote is vanilla bean, um, cashmere, and amberoxin, but you can smell the vanilla. If you're not into vanilla sweet scent, this is not the scent for you. If you are, it's very sweet. Go to Sephora, try this out. This is called Floral Street Wild Vanilla Orchid. So this is one of my top faves. My second fave, I literally just got this perfume like a few months ago. It's a little bit down. This is Marc Jacobs Perfect this y'all it's literally a floral scent so what the notes are it's a warm floral scent again i love warm florals um it's the key notes is daffodil almond milk and cash moran this is a second perfume that has cash moran in it and it smells so good and the girls is living for this this is the best money i spent on perfume so good it smells so good you guys should head this out i have this in a 1.6 fluid ounce and i just love mark jacobs um details that he has on his perfumes like the top is just so good so the next sweet scent that i really really absolutely love is this kkw bff um i spray this when i'm feeling down or anything but this smells so good i wish i knew the notes she no longer does kkw so i'm unable to link this down below this also smells like it has a hint of vanilla and um it's a floral sweet scent this just smells so good my sister she smelled it she's not like a sweet scent type of girl but she absolutely love this scent i wish i can link this down below but she actually closed kkw she's rebranding but this is so good the next thing i'm gonna get into is my clean smelling scent so like days of doing laundry or days that i'm wearing white and i want to feel godly we're gonna go into the clean reserve and the scent that i have this in is warm cotton it smells like fabric softener like, you know, you just finished washing your clothes, you spray this on your sheets and stuff, and you're like, I want to smell godly today. I don't I don't want to smell like a heathen or nothing like that. And this is so good. It smells so fresh. So I usually layer this perfume with a little bit of sweetness. So I have like a fresh scent and a like a nice little sweet scent to myself as well. But this is good. Um, um, if you're not into very fresh scents that smell like laundry or anything like this this won't be for you but if you do like these type of scents then this is pretty pretty good my next scent it's a fruity and sweet scent but it gives off kind of fresh so this is the burberry called uh brit 
um and what size did i get this in 1.6 fluid ounce and this is a like i'm gonna give you the notes for it so it's a fruity sweet gourmet scent um the top notes is icy pear lime and lemongrass i don't even know how to say it peonies peonies however you say it link it down below um and the base notes is vanilla and tonka bean and everything just has vanilla in it and it just gives like i can mostly smell the lemon grass and lemon because it's very strong i'm not really a lemon type of person but when i mix this with the clean preserve i mix these two together this balances out the lemon smell and the lemongrass in there the next scent that i have is also a floral scent so i got this from tj maxx and i was like you know what this looks nice let me just see what it smells like and of course it had like a floral scent to it this is also sold on uh rebel scents and i paid 14 dollars for this on rebel scents is about like 20 dollars. it's not really like a difference well like a four dollar difference so the notes on it the top note is mandarin and wild berries and the heart note is jasmine gardenia and honey and honey suckle and then the base note is caramel vanilla musk sandalwood amber and i say that i don't like musk scents but this one smells so good i think i wear this every day to work like it smells really really good so i just want to make sure that you guys know that this is also a sweet scent but every sweet scent that i do have does smell kind of different there's some that are extra sweet and then there's some that are like fresh sweet so my next perfume is the miss dior which is all also a floral scent here i'm thinking i don't have i only have a little little bits of floral scents literally my whole collection just told me that girl you just like floral scents so miss dior was an impulsive buy i purchased this i was at sephora going to get my clean reserve and the dior representative he came over he was like you know you might like this scent because i seen that you know you have picked up a, a couple of sweet scents so i'm like hey let me just go try it out and honestly this smells good i did get the smaller bottle because i do have a lot of perfumes but this is a sweet warm floral scent um that you can wear at night you don't have to spray a lot because it is a strong perfume and that keeps a smell like all freaking day like i'll spray it on my hoodie and two days later my hoodie still smells like this perfume like this is really really strong you you can get a small one so the notes on this is lily of the valley which i don't know what that is or centifolia rose and a soft musk um now that i think about it you do smell a soft a smell of soft musk in it but it's not od anyway let's get into the next scent so my next night scent that i really love is my black opium by yso um this really really like a night scent or a scent that you wear in the winter time this is not for the summer i got this around my birthday which is in like the fall time this is like a good fall and winter scent it's halfway gone i didn't realize how much i use them so the key notes in this is black coffee white flowers vanilla and it's a warm and spicy gourmet and it's literally like a night nice scent if you like like spicy woodsy scents then this will be for you um but it smells so good like i will wear this when i if i wore this outfit to like dinner with my boyfriend or something like that but this is really really good so the last scent i am going to show you guys is this ebony wood perfume that i got from zara so when i first got this perfume it smelled so good and i was like oh my god it smells so good but the more the more that i spray it every day when i wore it to work it doesn't last like for it to be an edp it does not last at all um yeah it just doesn't last at all and i'm not gonna lie to you guys i liked it at first but it gave, it gives me granny vibes i use a lot of it because i wore it to work and i sprayed a lot of it um to hold a scent but it does not hold a scent at all like it wears off. like my other perfumes that i spent money on like this would be 16 dollars, and this to be 40 this lasts longer than this um i don't know like 
I like it, but it gives me old lady vibes after a while. It's like, no, child, no. It was good while it lasted. I don't really wear this much. Um, it was good while it lasted. I sprayed a lot of it because it just does not last. It makes no sense why that perfume does not last to me. But that is the end of my perfume collection. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and got to understand like what I smell like and if you like floral scents like me. Yeah, I'm, I'm a sweet kind of girl. We're living a soft life here. But don't forget to head over to Dossier and use my link to get new perfumes. I can't wait for you guys to try these out and I can't wait for you guys to try out Dossier. Perfume, it smells so, so, so good. Um, But yeah, this is the end of this video. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys.